a corporation must appoint a president, a chief executive officer, also abbreviated as a CEO, a chief operating officer, COO, and chief financial officer, CFO. It must also appoint a planning committee with three different members. There are 17 qualified candidates, and officers can also serve on the committee. Let's complete parts A through C below. So the first question is, how many different ways can the officers be appointed? So, we want to determine if the number of ways the officers can be appointed can be found using combinations or permutations. Since the candidates are distinct, no one candidate can be chosen more than once. And the order in which the candidates are chosen matters. So we're going to use permutations to determine how many different ways the officers can be appointed. Now a situation using permutations when all the items are different must satisfy three requirements. First, there must be n different items available. Also, one must select r of the n items without replacement. And then you finally rearrange uh, rearrangements of the same items are counted as being different. So in this case, we're going to be using the permutations particular rule here. So again, for the officers, we know that there are four out of 17 qualified candidates. So that tells us that N, which is the total amount of candidates, is 17. And we want to pick R, which is four of them. So therefore, we're going to plug this into our permutation formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So that means we have 17 permutation 4. And so that's going to equal 17 factorial divided by 17 minus 4 factorial. So in the numerator, we have 17 factorial. And then 17 minus 4 is going to give us 13 factorial. And so now what we can do is we can then simplify the numerator to only use the definition of the factorial all the way to 13. So this is 17 times 16 times 15 times 14. And then we're going to stop at 13 factorial because that's what we have in a denominator. And what that allows us to do is now simplify that because 13 factorial divided by 13 factorial is equal to 1. So now we can now just take the values of 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 times 1 and let's see what we get for our result. So 17 times 16 times 15 times 14 times 1 well, that gives us 57,120. So 57,120. Well, that number, okay, represents the different ways that officers can be appointed. So again, that value is 57,120. Let's go ahead and check. And there is our result. Okay, now the next question says, how many different ways can the committee be appointed? Now it says it must also appoint a planning committee with three different members. Okay, now we're dealing with three different members from the 17 qualified candidates. So let's take a look at that definition. Okay, so how many different ways can the committee be appointed? Well, since candidates are distinct, no one candidate can be chosen more than once, and the order in which the candidates are chosen does not matter. So we're going to use combinations to count the number of ways the committee can be appointed. A situation using combinations must satisfy three requirements. First, there must be n different items available. Also, one must select r of the n items without replacement. And finally, arrangements of the same items are counted as being the same. So in this particular uh, formula, there's our formula. So what does n represent? Well, again, n represents the total amount of candidates that are, that are available which is 17, but we're looking to find a planning committee that has three different members. So therefore, R is going to equal 3. So now using this formula, we're going to have 17 combination 3. And now let's plug that into our formula. So we have 17 factorial 
divided by 17 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So in a denominator, if we take 17 minus 3, we end up getting 14 factorial times 3 factorial. Now before we do anything, let's just go ahead and expand the numerator. So we have 17 times 16 times 15 and then times 14 and then we're going to leave that as a factorial and then we're going to leave the same thing down the denominator is 14 factorial and now we're going to expand 3 factorial to be 3 times 2 times 1 okay so now what can we do well we can simplify the 14 factorials because that's going to give us 1 okay and then what else well, we know that the value of 3 goes into 15 how many times? 5 times. And then we know that 2 goes into 16 how many times? Well, it goes in 8 times. So therefore, everything in a denominator is 1, so what's left in the numerator is going to be 17 times 8 times 5 times 1. And let's go ahead and find that result. So if we take 17 times 8 times 5 times 1 and that gives us 680 and so therefore we would then say that there are 680 different ways to appoint the committee okay now it says what is the probability of randomly selecting the committee members and getting the three youngest of the qualified candidates okay so we want to find the probability of random, randomly selecting the committee members and getting th the three youngest of the qualified candidates. And there are 600 different ways to appoint the committee. So if we want to find the probability of getting the three youngest candidates, well, there's only one possibility out of that 680. So therefore, it would be 1 over 680, and they're asking us to type an integer or a simplified fraction. So we're going to put in 1 over the 680, and then that is our result.